Meteorologist Tim Root with your KLEK 102.5 forecast. Another chance of showers and thunderstorms today and tonight. Only about a 30-40% coverage, though, and the temperatures with mostly cloudy skies in the mid-80s during the day, mid-60s or so at night. A 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms Thursday, partly sunny near 90. And it'll be near 90 Friday, partly to mostly sunny, still a chance of a shower thunderstorm. Your life, your music, we're KLEK 102.5 FM. From Feature Story News in London, I'm Oli Barrett. Russia says it believes the scheduled meeting between President Trump and North Korea's Kim Jong-un will be successful. Anwar Ibrahim has been freed from jail in Malaysia after his party won last week's election. Fifteen people have been killed after a portion of an under-construction bridge collapsed in the Indian city of Varanasi. And it now appears Meghan Markle's father is likely to miss her wedding to Prince Harry on Saturday in Windsor after all. Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Today's scripture is one of the most often recited scriptures in the Bible. We use it to inspire us when we're trying to accomplish things. We go to it to remind us from whence we come. But as positive as this verse is, it also means we can get through things we don't want to go through. Death of a loved one, demotion, termination, impatiently waiting for the next opportunity. In those moments, we need to be reminded that we can do all things through Christ. We limit Christ when we limit ourselves. When we make statements about what we can or won't put up with, or who we can or won't put up with, we limit the ability of Christ. Sometimes we allow to endure things to help us recommit ourselves to Christ. We were never promised easy. We were promised victory. Winning is and never will be easy. I pray God continues to rain down blessings on you. Amen. It's 8.02. Good morning, KLK 102.5 FM. Kid Wonder is in the studio with you. I am joined by Reverend Dr. Greg Ota and our special guest, Reverend Dr. Charles Coleman. And we're getting ready for our Wednesday morning Bible study. And we definitely have a good topic for you this morning. We're going to talk about the subject of salvation, which is the bedrock of the Christian faith. So we're not going to waste any time. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. This is your Wednesday morning Bible study on KLK. 2.5 FM. Good morning for tuning in this morning. Welcome, Dr. Coleman. Good morning, good morning. Would you open us up in prayer? Well, most gracious Father, we are truly grateful for this day. We're grateful, Madam and Father, that you've allowed us to be the tools in this community, not just for where we walk, but each step that we take, Madam and Father, to be the standards that you've provided for this community. We thank you for this program. We thank you thank for you, Lord. This day, my Heavenly Father, that you allow us to continue to be the students that you want us to be, and that we will continue to give you the praise, not just with our mouth, but with our resources. And we thank you, my Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Coleman. We're glad to have you this morning. I'm glad to be here. Uh, this is my first day up uh, since I've had surgery. Okay. And um, I want to thank the radio station, number one, but I want to thank you, doctor, for picking me up because I can't drive. God bless you, man. God bless <laughs> it's you. It's like I've been I playing, you do that. Been playing <laughs> Mr. Daisy here lately. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. So yeah. we need to lay down sometimes, Dr. Coleman, <laughs> yeah. so we can last. Yeah. Amen. This morning we're going to talk about salvation. A lot of people don't understand what salvation means. Uh, either by dictionary or scriptures, they just hear it. They, they don't understand it. it. Well, as I've said to you before, one mm-hmm. of the things that uh, so important to me about salvation is, is being delivered. Being delivered. That is one of the better definitions that I would give anybody. Amen. And I'm, But I'm also finding out uh, on a sad note, some people don't want to be delivered. <laughs> Uh, because they, they want to continue to walk like they're walking and, and, and wonder why God is not blessing them. Amen. So, Amen. Uh, yeah. So salvation, I, I put down some dictionary meanings before mm-hmm. we go to the scriptures. The act of saving or protecting from harm, risk, loss, destruction. I'm going to stop there. And, and this is what flashed in my mind. When we are done with a car, a junkyard will pick it up mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. put it in a yard somewhere, somewhere. for destruction, so, for later on but then somebody needs a part of that car that's been put in the salvage yeah right. they go and take the part out of the abandoned car mm-hmm. now that part they took out is now salvage mm-hmm. for reuse mm-hmm. help me 
Help well, me. Well, you know, uh, we all need some reusing. Amen. You know, each one of us have different parts, and, mm-hmm. and, and salvation gives you a deliverance of all those different parts. And sometimes you have to pull from different resources Amen. To, to do what you need to do. It's, just, it's from a biblical standpoint, mm-hmm. you can't just have one scripture. Amen. You have the whole Bible. And, you have to hook, and hook when I Bible. talk to people, sometimes I ask the question, do you believe the whole Bible? And mm-hmm. I'm, I say that for a purpose. Amen. Because I know during salvation time, your deliverance says that you you understand, not so much that you understand the whole Bible. I want to make mm-hmm. sure that's clear because even mm-hmm. us preachers don't understand the whole no, Bible. No, we don't understand but the whole Bible. But that salvation says, are you willing mm-hmm. to research yourself? Mm hmm. To look at others in a different perspective. Mm-hmm. And that salvation says that you have turned over a new leaf, mm-hmm. that the whole Bible mm-hmm. is your resource. Amen. Not just a portion of the Bible, but mm-hmm. when you want something. When you want something. Yeah. So, so why do we need salvation? Number one, it says all have sinned. Romans 3.23. Help me, Dr. Coleman. Well, Romans, all have sinned. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to something that you have already uh, stipulated in your writing is that from Genesis mm-hmm. number one mm-hmm. because of Adam mm-hmm. you know and I think sometimes we forget that the part of sin is there mm-hmm. but you don't have to participate with it no you know no uh, when you have been uh, as we say filled with the Holy Ghost mm-hmm. or as I tell some people you, you feel with something else <laughs> <laughs> because if you feel with the Holy Ghost, you will change. Mm-hmm. And you will understand each individual and you will give each person the, not the benefit of the doubt that mm-hmm. they have been saved. Mm-hmm. Because of being reformed from what Adam did. And mm-hmm. Adam had to have the same reformation. He just, Amen. He just made a bad decision. He made a bad decision. Right. He made a bad decision. So all of us, because Adam made that bad decision, we came up the wrong way. Right. So God wants to bring us the right way right to him because he's God almighty there's no other God everything else is fake right so for us to be in good standing with him there's a pathway to get back to him well one of the things that we even even some ministers do this totally relying on God mm-hmm. and God set his plan up that way mm-hmm. for us to totally rely mm-hmm. so when you deliver it when you have been changed by the Holy Ghost, when you uh, anoint from God that have said that you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God, mm-hmm. you're under his command then. Yeah. Amen. And, and being under his command, then the seed has changed, mm-hmm. not from, from Adam mm-hmm. to you and God, not mm-hmm. you, Adam, and God. Right. And so when you are doing that, it's mm-hmm. saying that you're going to follow God mm-hmm. in everything you do. You get up in the morning. Uh, I tell people all the time, sick or not sick, my first thing in the morning is saying, what do you want me to do? Amen. Not what I want to do. Amen. What do you want me to do? Because you see, you're no longer yours. You're no longer. Amen. Because he, you you know, the Bible, sometimes people misinterpret mm-hmm. the word slave. Mm-hmm. When God talks about slavery from the standpoint that Paul, through Paul, that we are mm-hmm. slave to the gospel. Mm-hmm. That's the beautiful thing to be a Amen. slave to God. Amen. Because he is... He is Turn your whole Mm -hmm. life around. Amen. Mm -hmm. So if we, let me digress with you for a second. This slavery thing. Paul is a slave to Jesus Christ joyfully. That means I do what you tell me to do, Master. Because I know your plans for me are good. Better than the plans I have for myself. Because my plans, I have no idea where I'm going to end up at. (laughs) (laughs) I, I laugh about that because, you know, I had plenty of plans before I got sick. Amen. And uh, uh, I remember one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so the Lord said, "Well, you know, it's time to let this guy lay down." For well, God didn't lay me down. Mm-hmm. My aptitude, the things that I was doing, put myself in a position. Mm-hmm. And so it gave me a chance to go back and look at these scriptures. And uh, when you called and we talked about uh, talking about salvation. I mean, I got excited because Amen. it let me remember mm-hmm. from whence he brought me. Amen. Amen. You know, Amen. It let me go back and rehearse some of some of these scriptures that I hadn't rehearsed in many, you know, years. In many years. But Amen. when you land on your back, Amen. You got time. You got time. You got, <laughs> you got time. So, so who's qualified for well, this task? We're all qualified. Mm-hmm. The problem with being qualified 
is that when once God changes you, mm -hmm. you know, you don't do it on your own. That's another mm -hmm. mistake well, that people... That, that's exactly what I'm heading at. <laughs> Who's qualified to give us salvation? That's right. Amen. God, because see, we Amen. think you can do things by yourself. There's nothing. He is totally in charge. Mm -hmm. You know, I get a lot of calls about Trump. Mm -hmm. And I tell people, I say, you know what? I pray for Trump just like I pray for everybody else. Amen. Well, even he's a Republican. Well, what does that guy do if he, even if he's a Democrat? A little bit has nothing to do. God is still in charge. Amen. Now, just because God in charge, then you mm -hmm. act a fool with it. God mm -hmm. has nothing to do with that. Nope. But far as the overall essence, because of salvation, mm -hmm. because of deliverance through Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. which you promoted, I guarantee you, it's time for everybody. Mm -hmm. Not just one person. Mm -hmm. You know, I tell people one of the scriptures, Second Corinthians five twenty, talks about we are the ambassadors of oh, God. Right. And so we want to point fingers at the minister and say, "Well, the minister not right." Well, you need to go look in the mirror. Amen. Because in that deliverance, mm -hmm. when He delivers all, mm -hmm. that means that you're part of that ministry too. Amen. You know, so your job is to go back and share the deliverance with everybody. Everybody that, you can find. Amen. Is that something? Now, uh, you you said something about the government. Remember, let us remember this. God created an evil man for an evil day. Amen. Amen. Amen twice. <laughs> All right. So, and he says, the heart of the king in his, his, is in his hand. He touches every which way he wants to. That's that right. does. And, and I don't think Christians, well, let me use the term body of Christ more mm -hmm. than just say Christians, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, the body of Christ sometimes don't understand it. God places, God is over government. You know, he appoints. Yes. I mean, just because, you know, I'm on the council. If I think I was foolish enough mm -hmm. to understand that people just voted me in, I'm mm -hmm. I, I, that's really a stupid mentality. As I'm sure. <laughs> but at the same time, mm -hmm. I recognize that in government, since God appointed each and every person to Amen. their position, Amen. our job is uh -huh. to respect God Amen. In, through our salvation to Amen. give him back and do what he wants to do, not so much what the government locally wants us to do, Amen. but walk the way that God wants us to walk. And I think sometimes in government we forget that, we that do. we were appointed. You know, we, we, we go and we get these campaigns and we do all this stuff and not recognize, well, you know, I've done something. Mm -hmm. You can do nothing Nothing without, without Christ. Without Christ. Amen. It just won't work. Amen. So in Isaiah 9, 6, it says, God sent his son who contained the blood of God. I don't have time to fully develop this, but Dr. Coleman, you understand where I'm coming from. The blood that was in Adam came from God. Right. There had been no blood before Adam. Right. Adam performed the high treason. So every other blood that came from him was tainted because of what he did. So God had to send Jesus with the same blood that was in Adam. Because he was clean. Amen. You know, the lamb had to be clean. He Amen. had no spot or wrinkle. Back, nope. to, back to your verse, I like the way that you put this in, in this form. You said, for unto us a child is born. Mm -hmm. And to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Mm -hmm. Well, if the government was placed on him, see, we have to be careful with that term government, uh -huh. because that government from the Greek standpoint and mm -hmm. from the Hebrew standpoint mm -hmm. means something totally, absolute, didn't. Mm -hmm. The difference in this government, in, in our local government, is all about us. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. the government of God form is all about the whole entire world. Amen. And so Jesus saved the whole world. Whole I don't world. care what continent you come don't from. Don't matter what, what color, nation what nation you came don't from. Don't matter. Don't what matter. industry you came from. Don't matter. You, if you, when you give your heart to God, you're mm -hmm. part of His government. So even the body of Christ is mm -hmm. in the same form. Amen. I tell people, you know, you, you don't have to be a Greek major. You don't have to be a Hebrew major. But learn no. a little bit about that. So the, cause those words are different because sometimes mm -hmm. what God does when he puts words in the scripture, one Greek word might be 10 words. Yep. One, like, I'll give you an example, love, all over the place. That's right. <laughs> right. That's right. Amen. And so when I look at the, the government, it says to me that the ruling of this nation, mm -hmm. uh, let's go back to Genesis mm -hmm. that you put in there. Mm -hmm. We have dominion over every Everything thing. that God created. Genesis 1, 26. Amen. So uh, sometimes I wonder why we have so many issues because we don't go back to the Bible mm -hmm. and the Bible's form of government, mm -hmm. God's way. Yeah, amen. And so when we don't do what we're supposed to lead, mm -hmm. as I said before, you want to be, have salvation, but mm -hmm. you really don't want to be delivered. No. Because if you really wanted to be delivered, you would go back and see what God said about this issue. Amen. About I, I still want to womanize. I still want to get drunk. I still want to hang out in the club. I want to make passes on anybody that I think I like. 
and then but, you, but I want salvation. Though. And then you want to go to church and run the church. Amen. <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's, it's really amazing. Amen. Amen. So, what must we do to be in God's family? Well, number one, mm -hmm. you have to repent, and that's another issue. When I looked at you, uh, the term that you put salvation. Here's what repent means, and I tell my wife this every day. I walk in repentance every day because I I may be thinking something stupid. Amen. I may Amen. be thinking. I'm in the will of God, and mm -hmm. I'm going a different direction. Mm -hmm. But repentance means that you change. You change. You turn yourself around with From God's help. Mm -hmm. You can't do it without God's help. I keep Amen. emphasizing that because I think some of the people that may be listening think, well, I'm a child of God. I've been a child of God 50, 20 years. Well, you you, you still are a child of God if mm -hmm. you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Mm -hmm. But have you changed mm -hmm. or have you forgiven your sister brother? Mm -hmm. Can you walk up to a brother that you have been mad at for 20 years and mm -hmm. say, I'm sorry? Mm -hmm. Or are you waiting for God to mm -hmm. do something to you? And then you? When you're not blessed, mm -hmm. you say, well, why did I get a blessing? Well, you know, God is not a fool now. Mm -hmm. He hates sin, and he, he turned his it. back on his own son to come from sin. So Amen. if you think that you're going to get away with what you're getting away with and haven't repented, you're thinking the wrong thing. You're your blessing the, might you, not come for many, many years. Because, <laughs> you're in the wrong business, too. <laughs> right, because you haven't said, I'm sorry. Amen. You know? yeah. Amen. He says in John 1, 12, he says, But as many as have received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. Isn't that amazing? What's really amazing about that? We're talking about repentance. Mm -hmm. this, this shows you how the Holy Spirit in my mind has worked. Mm -hmm. You have already put that repent of our sins mm -hmm. again. Because once you have that power mm -hmm. and we become sons of God. Sons. Period. Amen. Now, in my mind, I want to make sure this is clear because I'm sure we have a lot of women listening mm -hmm. to, at, mm -hmm. this, at this program. Mm -hmm. so, sons of God, when I go back to the term the Greek, and, and the human term, you got to understand that means every every human, period. No matter who you are, or once again, what your nationality is, mm -hmm. what your color is, mm -hmm. sons of God. That's the way God planned it, Amen. and I think that's the problem. The other problem where we don't want to work in God's plan. Amen. We want to split all this stuff. That's why you think we're having so much confusion in the world because mm -hmm. we want to do it our way. We take God's words and do it the way we want to. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at when he's saying sons of God, he's talking about every person mm -hmm. walking. Because in, in Genesis 5, he called Adam and Eve Adam. Right. It was a composite name. In other words, humans, he called Adam. Amen. It was only in the beginning that he singled out Adam as the male and this, that, and the other. Well, isn't it funny that we take Adam and we, we uh, when it went from the beginning of something, it's like the Adam bomb. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. We take all these words from the Bible, but we won't do what the Bible says. No, we don't. We don't want to go near anything near. the Bible, Bible says. This, <laughs> you know what, Dr. Coleman? We don't run out of time already. Is Can that, you believe it? It's 15 million. Yeah, look at this. Well, my good. Oh, we, 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 we just started having well, fun. I'll tell you what we do. When you start having fun. Yeah, that time. Stand and I call teaching and understanding. But one thing I want to leave mm -hmm. today with and make sure that whoever this audience that has listened to us, that we don't know everything. But we're, we're having students. a good time. Yeah, we're students. And we're having a good time mm -hmm. letting God use us in the way that he wants to use us. Amen. And at the same time, this is a blessed station that is allowing this to happen. Amen. So I just want to thank God for that today. Well, I want to thank God for you getting out of bed. Let me pick you up and bring you here <laughs> and share the word with the people. Uh, when you get stronger, would you come back? I promise I will. God bless you, sir. Amen. Uh, if you don't know Christ, this is the time in our broadcast where I let the deacon in training lead you in the sinner's prayer. Would you do that, Legazi? And our sinner's prayer is as follows. Please repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you today as a sinner. Mm. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. Make me a child of God. I believe you died for me. On the third day, you rose again that I might be justified. I believe I'm born again. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. 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 So if you have prayed that prayer, you are born again. Go find a Bible teaching and believing church. Listen, folks, time is running out on all our lives. It's time to get serious with God. No man has a heaven or hell to put you in. Only God in heaven. Amen. Dr. Coleman, I'm led to pray for your speedy recovery, which is taking place now. 
I want everyone that is listening. In Acts chapter 4 verse 30, it says, Stretch forth your hand in the name of the Holy Child Jesus for healing. Stretch forth your hand right now towards your radio. Father in heaven, we thank you for Dr. Coleman. We thank you for what you have done in his life already and what you have used him to do in this community. Father, as you have laid him back, laid him on his back, you said you make his bed in time of affliction. As he rises again, Father, empower him to do the things you have designed for him to do for your people. We shall forever give you praise and give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. We can it done by faith. Amen. 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 Thank you for Amen. all of you that prayed. Uh, Dr. Coleman, would you uh, send us away in prayer, please? Most gracious Father, once again, you have set the standards for our lives. And we pray, my Heavenly Father, not just for people in the church buildings, Father. Hmm. We pray for this whole world that we walk in repentance each and every day to give you the praise that you do, to give you the things that you need, to walk in the power you made, as it says in the book of Ephesians, and to be, my Heavenly Father, the stewards of all that you've allowed us to possess. And we will continually, every day, every minute, give you the praise. Mm. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you for listening. God bless you. We're going to do part two of this sometime. We're not done with salvation, Dr. Right. Coleman. <laughs> I mean, you're going to come back to this. I'm going to hold it out. All I'm not right. going to do it with anybody else. I'm going to wait till you're ready to come back. We'll do part two. All right? All right. That's fine with me. God bless you, sir. Amen. All God right. bless all of you for listening. Carry all right. On. Let's go ahead and get to our Facebook shout out. So mm -hmm. Bernard Cobb says, Amen. Emma Agnew says, Praise God. Glad Amen. to see both of you gentlemen, especially Dr. Coleman, enjoying mm -hmm. the study. Bernard Cobb says, Well, what's the difference between sons of God and children of God? Gentlemen? There really is no change. Thank you. There's no difference. There is no difference. Yep. Uh, when you're talking about sons, you talk, God, in, as I've said before, um, not because we think we know so much, but a little bit of Hebrew, a little bit of Greek would give you to understand those are the same, have the same meaning. Mm -hmm. All right. Hopefully that answers your question, Brother Cops. Sandra Combs says, Amen. Emma Agnew says, Amen twice. And <laughs> Bernard <laughs> Cobb says, Amen. Appreciate amen. each and every one of you for checking out our you. Facebook live feed. We're going to have more of Dr. Coleman at the top of the hour for community conversations. And please remember to keep our dear friend Quabila lifted up in prayer as she is in the hospital for recovery. I'm going to I'm going to try to hold it down. I can't promise I'll do as good of a job as she, <laughs> she will, but we're definitely keeping her lifted up in prayer. But more with Dr. Coleman at the top of the hour. This is all Gospel Wednesday on KLEK 2.5 FM. This is Dr. Sharice Jones-Branch, and this is your Black History Moment. Gwendolyn Elizabeth Brooks was born on June 7, 1906.